an understanding of what it means in terms of the occult destiny and plan for the United States of America. Oh, they have a destiny for this country. And you won't like it when you read about it. And it seems to me that it's being fulfilled by the traitorous officials and bureaucrats and politicians in today's Washington, D.C. And why shouldn't they be such devil men? After all, they're operating in a city that I call the Illuminati city of mystery, Washington, D.C., an occult, a Masonic, a satanic city. But, of course, it is not only Washington, D.C. I take you on a trip to ancient Egypt and Babylon, down into Central and South America, over to China, to Canada, to Africa. Amazing 21st century travel. And you'll find that these incredible sites of mysterious monuments are rising right now this year. This day, we're not talking about the pyramids of King Tut in ancient Egypt or the Tower of Babel that was built by Nimrod and Semiramis. We're talking about Towers of Babel rising today in the Middle East. We're talking about pyramids being built on the streets of Israel today. And on the Mississippi River in Memphis, Tennessee. And even the North American Union pyramids in Princeton, West Virginia. And the Luxor Pyramid in Las Vegas, Nevada. You'll see amazing sights. You, you will not believe your eyes when you see these things. An architectural colossus of immense proportions is going up around this world, being built by Satan. They are building the great architect, they call him, their God. They call themselves the builders. And they are building a new world that will be alien to anything that you and I can imagine. From where do they get such a vision? It comes from, dare I say it, hell. They themselves say that in that other world, that other world, the dark, sinister world that you and I cannot see, but by some form of special sight, they can see and peer into that universe of devils. Friends, I don't even want to see it. I don't want to go there. I don't want to travel with my imagination and some kind of... uh, 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 extra sight, some kind of a sixth sense. I don't want to go into those dark tunnels of doom, but they do. There are some people, my friends, who simply have a blood taste for the mysteries of the devil. There are. You know it. You know that some of these teenagers and young people into the goth lifestyle, into the vampirism, You know that these people are perverted and depraved. They don't think like you and I do, nor do the very rich elitist men of the Illuminati. The men who actually are higher in status than Dick Cheney and George Bush could ever even imagine themselves to be. And they're the ones spending hundreds of billions of dollars to build brand new monuments, statues, skyscrapers, buildings, towers across this world. And in the 21st century, this architectural colossus is escalating. It's rising fast. They've got plans. They're regenerating the planet, and they're ready for their great Messiah. And I want to tell you something, friends. Even in Washington, D.C., in our nation's capital, there is a crypt, a crypt under the Capitol building. Way down in the basement, I have discovered And there they have a great stone sarcophagus, and it's empty. What's it for then? What would a great coffin or casket, a sarcophagus, be doing in a crypt 
under the rotunda of the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C., that great dome, atop of which, of course, is the great goddess, the mistress of Satan. And in that crypt is this great sarcophagus, the stone sarcophagus. And the tour guide, if you are fortunate enough to be taken down deep underground into that crypt, will tell you there is no person in it at all. I believe the reason for that is because of the significance. The symbolic significance is that the great Osiris, the great sun god, will be rising once again. He will be coming up from the depth of the earth, Abaddon, Apollyon, or just two of his names, and he will rise up from the depths of the earth from that spiritually from that empty stone sarcophagus and he will take the helm of the greatest nation on earth the United States whose destiny is to rule the world in a Zionist led new world order of the ages you say Tex you have a fantastic imagination 875 photos and 624 pages is not my imagination. It's documented proof and evidence. And I want you to have this book. $35. It's about the size of three regular books, so please don't tell me it's expensive. By the time we produce it, it costs about as much as a you know, big book just to produce, believe me. You've got to have this book. Now, I want to warn you, if, you if, if you're like some people, you just take a book and a couple of days you've read it and it's over with and you're finished with a book. Well, don't, don't think so. Don't, don't think. Some people, some of the most intelligent men I know say, I've read this book and I keep reading it over and over and over. And every, every caption beyond, beneath every picture, every word is important in this book. It's the most incredible book people are telling me they've ever seen in their life. Discover the meaning of all of these occult symbols, occult shapes, Masonic architecture, occult designs, and the goal of the Illuminati all in one book. You'll know everything about 9-11, the hoax of 9-11, and everything that's going on in the world in the Middle East from the plot and the conspiracy that's outlined in this book. And it's written in stone. In architecture. And it has to do with more than just earth. It has to do with all the planets and the stars. <laughs> that exist in this great galaxy and universe. It is an amazing story. Revealed for the first time in mysterious monuments. $35. Please add $4 for shipping and handling. We send it out to you in a nice little box. It's too big to even go in an envelope. Or a great big mailing package thing. So we have to send it out in a nicely designed box. We shrink wrap it so it won't get all broken up and all that. It comes to you nice and fresh. And you'll have one of the most important books ever produced in your lifetime. I promise you that. And I'll tell you something else too. The last seven or eight pages of this book are the best. Because after discovering... Over 600 pages of what the devil's plan is. I just decided to tell people what God has intended for you and me in this earth. That's right. I decided to tell you. You may be surprised. Because it has to do with some wrecking and some demolishing that's going to take place. God has a little team of carpenters. You know, even Jesus was born the son of a carpenter. Oh, there's some uh, fantastic Prophetic meaning in that one, dear friends. The son of a carpenter in the flesh. But he's no carpenter anymore. But he is sending four great angels, carpenters. It's prophesied in the book of Zechariah. Oh, that, that would take a whole other show, though. Another program to tell you about that. But you can read about it in Mysterious Monuments. The work of these four carpenters. <laughs> Uh, I talked to a pastor friend of mine. I said, have you ever considered the work of the four carpenters of the book of 
the prophetic book of Zechariah. He said, I've never heard of such a thing. I said, now, John, his name is John. Said, John, you got to read that. He said, where's that at again? I said, the book of Zechariah. Four horns and four carpenters. And they got a mission from God. And Zechariah said, Lord, what have these come to do? And God said, well, I'll tell you what they're going to do. Well, I'm not going to tell you today on this program. I'm going to let you just research it for yourself. But I'm telling you, you don't want to be in the way of these four carpenters. They don't build things. They tear it up. You say, well, God wouldn't do that. He wouldn't destroy things. Ah, there's some things (laughs) that he's going to destroy. In fact, Jesus said that he came to destroy the works of the devil. God builds up and he takes down too. (laughs) Oh, yes. There's some projects that are just reclamation projects and you got to tear it down before you can build it up. I'll leave you with that mystery. $39 postpaid mysterious monuments. Encyclopedia of Secret Illuminati Designs, Masonic Architecture, and Occult Places. Hey, it's also available powerofprophecy.com, our website, or even mysteriousmonuments.com. See, we've got an entire new website just for this book, mysteriousmonuments.com, or our regular website, powerofprophecy.com. You may be listening to this program right now on powerofprophecy.com. You probably are. Or maybe conspiracyworld.com, a third website, Jerry. Barrett, our website director here, he keeps pretty busy. Let me tell you, he's uh, talking about a builder. Jerry, you're a builder, aren't you? Yeah, he's he's the builder. Uh, I'll tell you, a little bit of an architect too, I believe, from what I've seen. But he's not the Masonic architect, at least. We know that for certain. Well, let's return to our regular program. By the way, our address, I need to give him that, don't I, Jerry? He's, he's pointing to me over here. Wait just a minute, Tex. Okay. Our address to get this book, $39, is... Power of Prophecy, 1708 Patterson Road, Austin, Texas, 78733. Got a pencil and paper? Let me give it to you again. Power of Prophecy. Again, the book is Mysterious Monuments, $39. It's only been out about two months now. Power of Prophecy, 1708 Patterson. We've been here now over a dozen years. P-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N Road, Austin, Texas. Seven eight seven three three. We like to call it the Republic of Texas. By the way, you can phone us during the work week, Monday through Friday. We're here Central Time, eight to five thirty. A very pleasant person will talk to you. And I want to remind you when you order a book, when you order anything, we keep extending your free newsletter. You don't even have to ask for it. We're going to give it to you free. And by the way, if you're going to change your address, would you please let us know? You know? A lot of times we send newsletters to you and they come back returned. And the little old postman says, you know, give us a dollar. This was a wrong address. They charge us for wrong addresses. And plus we have to find it many times. So would you be so kind? Just call us on our toll free number and let us know when you're, when you move so we can make sure your next newsletter gets to the correct address. So when you move, do call us or to order book, this book, Mysterious Monuments. And again, it is toll free 1-800-234-9673. And now we're going to return and we're going to be talking again about Washington, D.C., the Illuminati city of mystery. And we're solving some mysteries today. I was talking to you about the great goddess who sits atop the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Of course, it's designed as a great Greco-Roman temple, a Greek temple. Thomas Jefferson called it the temple of the people. David Oveson is really very pro-occult, pro-astrology. But he's written an interesting book called The Secret Architecture of Our Nation's Capital. I read the book. I was very impressed by David Oveson. The the foreword to his book, or introduction, I guess you could call it, was written by the sovereign grand commander of Freemasonry. 
who said he found the book very interesting himself. Overson says that Washington, D.C. is actually the city of the great goddess. And that everywhere you go, you will find zodiacs, astrological symbols, all related to Virgo, one of the, you know, great signs of the zodiac. He says, by all of this architecture, by all of these zodiacs,